Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today was an epic day. My first five figure profit day since February where I had those three straight five figure profit days. Today I closed out 12,100, and I forget the rest, dollars in profit. And oh my God, so many epic plays. Uh, probably the highlight of the day was calling out the uh, the INCC breaking news play. They put out a PR at 3.30 p.m. I alerted it in the Discord. When I bought, I actually was already swinging 500,000 shares, but I ended up buying more. And uh, it ran 300% in like 30 minutes. So if you guys don't think there's room to profit on a stock that runs 300% in 30 minutes, you are crazy because the S&P 500 today was down like half a percent. Is there room to profit in that type of volatility? Mm, not really. I mean, maybe if you have like a trillion dollar account, but for you and me, there's definitely not. So. I wanna talk about those plays today, uh, talk about what I'm looking for tomorrow, and hopefully, you know, just get you guys set up because what a crazy day, honestly, what a crazy day. So, dive in my computer, let's do it. All right guys, so I'm here on my laptop, and this is LCLP. This was what the day two looked like, and this was, uh, this was pretty strange. I've never experienced something like this before where it tried to gap up, and then it actually failed and pretty much opened, uh, you know, right around the closing mark, maybe a little bit red, and because of that, had a little bit of a morning panic. I was trying to dip by this. I missed the dip by. If I got had gotten executed on that, I would have finished today probably like $15,000. No, probably more than that. No, probably more than that. So uh, I'm looking at my orders right here. I placed a, uh, where is it, LCLP? I placed two 200,000 share buy orders right here at 26 on this dip. Uh, if you get 400,000 shares, that means that every single tenth of a penny it goes up is 400 bucks. So every penny is 4,000 bucks. So from 2.6 to 3.6, that's four grand. 3.6 to 4.6, that's eight grand. So I mean, I probably missed out on like, I probably wouldn't have sold at the exact top, but I probably missed out on at least five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars worth of profit because I missed that execution there. Pretty insane, but there were still a lot of really nice dip buys on this. And again, I called this out yesterday, guys. So like on this stock, you don't want to chase. You don't want a bag hold because something that runs up this much has a long room to fall. But if you can nail these dip buys, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to get in. You see this dip, rip, dip, rip, dip, rip, dip, rip, dip, rip, dip, rip. Every single time, if you can time the bottom as it's turning on level two, you can make money on pretty much all of these, uh, which is why I love runners like this because there's just so much room to make money. And uh, this was actually not my best stock of the day um, because again, I didn't get executed there. If I'd gotten filled, again, I tried to buy 400,000 shares at 26, I just missed the fill, barely missed. And uh, I actually was ended up, I, I shorted a little bit, got filled, I think right down here, horrible fill, and then I tried to cover and ended up covering like up there. So I actually got screwed a little bit on that. But luckily, I can't short 400,000 shares, I can only short like 50,000. So not nearly as bad on that. But this was, uh, this was one ticker on the day. This was not the craziest one. So uh, the next one, probably the one I made the most money on was DRNG. And this had some crazy continuation from yesterday. Uh, again, I, I, I knew about this down here because NIHK, tweeted about it that they uh, that they had acquired this thing. So I should have just bought a ton then and just let it sit. But obviously, you know, you never know what's gonna run and what's gonna pop a little bit and then just die. So you don't wanna hold, bag hold anything. Um, but in this case, you know, it was just ripping it open and uh, it was fairly easy to read. So I started buying on these dips with like really big size. I had like 4 million shares at one point. Uh, and you know, when you have 4 million shares, every single hundredth of a penny is 400 bucks. So like you get a big rip like this, it's a lot of money guys. Uh, and just again, reading the level two, if you don't remember, if you don't know how to do that, go watch that live trading video I posted just a couple uh, videos ago where I talk about reading the level two, stacking bids and asks. You can do that on a sub penny so easy. And if there's a lot of volume, like it actually gets continuation so it's less choppy, easier to read, especially right in the morning. And it's just so great, guys. It's it's uh, it's really great because you can take huge size and uh, just make a lot of money. So I'm I'm very grateful for this one. And uh, again, all these plays were called out live in Discord. So this was this was the second play of the day. Uh, will there be will there be continuation on this tomorrow? Maybe. You know, it is down a lot. I think it ended up closing. Did it close red on the day? Yeah, it ended up closing red on the day, which is what's crazy. Uh, so you know, it is coming into the support area. 
Maybe it wants to bounce, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure, but uh, definitely want to keep on watch in case it continues moving. I guess for LCLP, uh, you also definitely want to keep this on watch. Uh, maybe it has a bounce here, maybe it just sells off, has a nice panic dip by. There's going to be some room to profit on this tomorrow, so definitely high on my watch list. Number one thing on my watch list though, guys, is uh, INCC. And I called this out as soon as it happened, but they did, you can see, at, uh, at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, they put out a press release saying they execute a definitive agreement to uh, get this, this $150 million worth of, of, of stock for, for acquiring this SoundTech AI Inc., which is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So uh, if you want to read this PR, you know, definitely go read the whole thing if you want to understand what's going on here. Honestly, I didn't even really read it. I probably should have read it because then I would have had uh, more conviction to take more size. I so I actually was swinging this stock, guys. I was swinging this stock. If you look at this chart, I mean, this is the ideal swing setup for me. You get a stock that goes crazy exponential uh, and then it starts basing. All it needs is some news. You swing this thing. One PR can set it off. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing that happened to LCLP. You know, lots of lots of nice basing action it got set off by a PR. Uh, so it's 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 very very high odds on these swing setups. You get really good risk reward. Another one was HQG no HQGE. I swung this one the other day. All you need is a little PR. You know you get in down here 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Any of those you swing and uh, you, you sell them to the pop. I swung from like even I think 24, 25 and some from 28 and I sold above 40. So just really, really nice to have setups like this where they go supernova and then they have nice consolidation. So I just love that for swing trades. But for, to, for today, INCC, it was pretty much straight up guys. So uh, there were a few times where it was a little choppy in here. You know, you can kind of see the wicks on this candle. So it wasn't like straight up, uh, but there were some pretty strong, pretty strong rips in here uh, and pretty nice dip buys and uh, just some great opportunities to get long. And uh, I had several million shares of this as well at one point. Um, I'm all out for now. I locked in all the profits, but this could definitely see some continuation tomorrow if uh, the news gets out a little bit more. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens. There is the potential chance that all the people who got bag holded on this day, uh, you know, end up stuffing this stock. So you can see 6 billion shares traded on this day. A lot of people tried to dip by and it refused to bounce, literally refuse to bounce at all. This is one of those crazy no bounce charts. So there's probably gonna be a lot of resistance up in here, uh, even though it's a big wick. I feel like there's probably gonna be a lot of resistance. Now maybe most of the resistance is down here where it failed to bounce in this area. So maybe it's already broken out past that and we're good. Uh, but just keep that in mind. There are a lot of people who were bag holding this stock because it never bounced. Uh, so now that it has bounced, some of them might be wanting to get out. So uh, just something to consider. It definitely could run, definitely could break over this. Or it could just die, but I'm, I'm willing to, uh, to do whatever the chart will tell me. And uh, basically it's all gonna be reading level two. And it's, it's pretty easy with these sub pennies. If, again, if they have a lot of volume, it's pretty easy to read it because uh, the level two is just very, very telling. You know, you get 50 million on the ask and two million on the bid, that's a pretty good sign you shouldn't be long there. You know, if you see 20 million on the bid after a dip and there's two million on the ask, that's a pretty good sign you should be buying there. So uh, that's how I like to read these. If you can buy with big size and sell into strength, my God, it's just it's just printing money, man. So love it, gotta love it. This was uh, definitely definitely a, a killer way to, to knock it off, finish the day. DPLS did have some opportunities today. I got wrecked on this one as well, though. Uh, it gapped up and tried to run it open, so I was long from 17. It looked like it was gonna break. I got washed out with 50,000 shares. I was down 1,500 in the first I don't even know how long. I mean, I literally couldn't sell this entire time. So I think I took like a three cent a share loss with 50,000 shares or something like that. So uh, that was pretty, pretty trash. And I think I ended up getting filled short down here again, same thing. And, uh, you know, having to get wrecked in the bounce. Um, actually, no, I think, I think I did get short here, just not enough sides. Uh, and then, you know, I tried to cover and it ended up covering me, you know, well into this bounce because the fills are just really bad. So uh, yeah, that wasn't fun. But again, guys, still so much volatility and uh, it did close kind of weak. But if you look at this chart, man, it's, uh, it's really feeling similar to like what it did over here. You know, it's, it, it's consolidating in this area and uh, potentially it wants to keep going. 
potentially wants to keep going. So if it rips over this, it's gonna be another epic breakout. I hope it runs to 50 cents. If so, it's gonna have another one of these epic panics like this. Uh, and I'm gonna make a ton of money on it, or not, no, like this. It's gonna, ha it's gonna have another one if it keeps running. So I, I really hope it keeps running. Uh, I wanna look at GGII, because you can see, you know, sometimes there's, there's really big wicks and bounces, but then the chart still ends up dying. So same thing I think with BPSR. Okay, this one didn't have quite the same bounce. Uh, so never mind in terms of that. But yeah, GGII is a good example of charts that, you know, they went supernova and had some pretty big bounces, but never made it above the top. So DPLS could be one of those. I really hope it keeps running. I really do, but uh, I'm not sure yet. But this is definitely one to keep on your watch list, both for, for, uh, for shorting and for dip buying because there's just endless opportunities. So those are the stocks that I traded today, guys. Um, if there's anything else I'm forgetting, I guess let me know. I mean, those, those four accounted for like pretty much all my profits if I even trade anything else. I guess the one thing I want to alert is uh, AVVH. This one, uh, it's weird, man. They had some decent news today and then ended up breaking my risk for my swing trade, which was four or five. So I cut it all, cut my whole swing trade uh, right here when it broke four or five. Lost like 600 bucks on that swing trade. I was swinging from like this, this area because there was nice consolidation. Uh, so I'm all out of that now. So I would have had a lot more. Well, I guess not a lot more, but a good amount more on the day, if not for that that loss there. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. Uh, given that I started the day horribly, had to cut this, to have my first five-figure day since February is, is pretty incredible. So I'm very grateful for that. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Excited for uh, some continuation on these tomorrow. It's really cool to see OTC Momentum be back. And I think a lot of that is because of LCLP, man. You know, this, this sub-penny runner created a lot of other sub penny runners, you know, DRNG, I think was a lot stronger because of LCLP. And I think INCC was a lot stronger because of the run that LCLP had just gone on. So momentum kind of builds and uh, breeds more momentum. So hopefully it continues, man, because I'm going to capitalize on it as long as it's here. So that's it. See you guys in the next one. Till then. Let's grow better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.